Hi, welcome to CareStream NDT YouTube video channel. I'm Steve Mango, Technical Manager for CareStream NDT, and today I'm going to show you on the HPX1 system how you would go about making wall thickness measurements. This is our wall thickness tool. We use this tool to measure the thickness on the pipe walls when we're looking for corrosion and erosion, for example. To use this tool, first I need to have the image calibrated for length. And there's two ways to do that. The easy way is to put something right in the image with a known dimension, like this cow magnet <clears throat> that's stuck to the side of the pipe. So I'm going to go to my main menu and say calibration, length, image plane. And that gives me a cursor that I can use to uh, measure a calibrated distance. So I'm going to click there, move it to here, and click there, and now I'm going to tell the software that that is three inches, okay, you can do it in millimeters or inches, and apply that. Once I do that, my image is calibrated for length, and I can tell that because my X and Y coordinates is no longer just a pixel value, it's an actual dimension in inches. So now that I'm calibrated for length, I'm going to go back to my toolbar on top, and there's an icon here that looks like a pipe with a line going through it. That's the wall thickness tool. I'm going to click on that, and I could measure a single wall, or I could measure both walls. Let's, in this case, click here and here, and we're going to measure both walls. So what it'll do is draw a profile right through the pipe, and from that profile, the software is going to find the inflection points where the outside of the wall occurs and the inside of the wall, okay, on both sides. And again, it's not using the visual image, which might be difficult for my aging eyes, but the software is using the underlying digital data, so it's a very accurate and precise measurement. Once it does this, you'll see the uh, wall thicknesses displayed on top of the plot. So we've got uh, uh, 0.159 and 0.155 on this side. Okay, I'm going to dismiss this dialog, and when I do that, I'll see that the software has already annotated both of those walls in that precise spot with those measurements. The other thing I can do with the wall thickness tool is uh, come up here again to my toolbar and say I want to take this region of interest, so I'm going to take a rectangular region, and come over here and draw a rectangle that starts near the outside wall and goes to almost the center of the pipe, approximately. Okay. I'm going to suppress that dialog box. And now I'm going to right-click on this ROI and say wall thickness, horizontal or vertical. That means I want to make horizontal measurements through that ROI. So I'm going to click horizontal. And now every so many pixels, which I've defined in preferences, it's going to make a measurement, and from all of those measurements, roughly 800 of them, it's going to find the minimum and maximum along that uh, side of that rectangle. So I'm going to check minimum and maximum here, and apply that, and after I do that, it's going to annotate the image with the minimum and maximum thicknesses it found in that rectangle. And again, just like the, uh, the single measurement, I could make that rectangle encompass either a single wall or extend it out to here and do a double wall. So if now if I right click and do wall thickness, horizontal, it'll find the minimum and maximum on both walls. Now getting back to my calibration, I showed you how to calibrate on the image plane. The other way to calibrate, if I didn't have that in the image, is kind of a neat thing. I'm going to say calibrate uh, length for the projection. That means if my pipe is some distance away from the imaging plate, all I need to know is the source to detector distance and the part to detector distance, and it will calculate the length calibration backing out that projection so that it calculates it uh, for the true you know, object plane. So in this case, I'm going to look at my previous annotation where I know the source to detector distance was 48 inches. My part to detector is 6.45, <clears throat> and I'm going to put that in inches. And by the way, for an image of a pipe, 
the part to detector is the center of the pipe. So once I put those numbers in, I click apply, and now I'm calibrated again for length. And if I did that accurately, I can take my ruler tool here, up in my toolbar, and check that uh, calibration widget by clicking there and there. And look at that, I got 2.989, and that was using the projection calibration, so you can see that's pretty accurate.